Manchester Talk Radio, produced by Shark Creative and made possible by Entergy, Indian Point Energy Center, White Plains Hospital, Mopolis Electric, High Tower Westchester, and Park Sterling Realty. This morning we're here uh, for very special reasons for Volunteer New York, Connect, Serve, and Grow. Volunteer New York has the 2020 Volunteer Spirit Awards, which takes place every year. Um, this year, they're presented by Con Edison, where everything matters. And unfortunately, due to the circumstances, we can't meet together. Um, so we're going to be doing the uh, Volunteer Spirit Awards virtually. The event takes place tomorrow, April 7th, from 12 to 1. Hashtag VSA together. You can go to volunteernewyork.org to help us honor all of these wonderful individuals who do so much for the community, and uh, that's why they're being honored. And today, I have the pleasure of interviewing uh, our first guest, Duke Searles. Good morning, Duke. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Duke has um, won the Transformation Award, and uh, he's here with us this morning uh, to just help us understand a little bit about how he, you know, how he's volunteered and what he's done. Duke Searles is known, uh, you know, he certainly knows the pain of hunger. He's a Vietnam veteran. He went through many dark days after the war, battling PTSD, addictions, and homelessness before putting his life back together on a positive path. Um, he was ready to give up, he says, but thanks to the staff and friends at the VA who encouraged him to seek help today, He's helping fellow veterans and their families as a volunteer director of Montrose VA Food Pantry. Duke, thank you so much for, um, for your service, first of all. And thank you so much for just being such a wonderful example to so many other people. Um, and congratulations on your award. Tell us a little bit about, you know, what, what's the inspiration for you to do what you do for the VA? Well, you know, today is... Uh the 21st year. Uh, I started this April, April 6th, 1999. And uh, I came home, you know, from Nam with some problems. I got involved with drugs uh, because uh, it was easy to try to forget some of the things I went through over there. I, got, I came up to the Montrose, uh, and like I said, on the 6th of April, uh, 1999, and I got involved with the doing service in the program. Um, I became a uh, volunteer driver. Uh, I got involved with helping uh, veterans uh, in the food pantry because when I left out of the VA, I was only making $749 a month and I was paying $450 rent. Mm -hmm. so it didn't leave a great deal of money. So I got involved with all the food pantries in the area. Uh, when I got involved, I recognized the fact that, you know, a lot of veterans are coming out there and needed a lot of help. So when I got involved with Regina Tracy through the VA uh, and got me involved with the pantry, uh, I, I saw the need and the, the necessity for to keep this pantry open. So after a while, things weren't going well, and I was about to resign, and Regina got me to take over the pantry which was I think about right now. I don't know whether I did the right thing or not, but I, I <laughs> well, I'm sure many, many people feel like you did do the right thing and are, are certainly grateful for it. Um, 21, 21 years, 21 later, years. Did you I, say 21 years to the day? To the day I decided when I got myself clean and got my program together. Yes. 21 years to the day. Duke, that, that is incredible. You know, um, we have a program that we run on Westchester Talk Radio called This Is Why We Stand, and we do it uh, the first Saturday or second Saturday of every month. Uh, and we've had the pleasure of speaking with, you know, many of your associates, if you will, and people from many different wars. And I'm, I'm just so touched by, um, you know, what, first of all, what everybody's gone through, but then the fact that they were willing to share their experiences with us. Uh, and and do such wonderful things like you're doing now, uh, and it, I know it, ha it it hadn't been easy for you. Um, tell us a little bit about um, how you how you feel today compared to maybe how you felt five, ten, fifteen, twenty years ago. 
I feel so much better about what we do because the volunteers who make this possible, the, my, my associates, they make it possible to help veterans who I and we feel no veteran should ever or their families should ever be hungry or homeless. That is our motto. Uh, we, serve, we proudly serve those who served our country with pride. That's our motto. That's in our uh, pantry on the wall. Uh, but that, not only that, that's in our hearts because we realize and recognize the need for anybody who's hungry to come to someone. And, and because veterans are very proud, they have a problem trying to ask for help. I know because I was one of them. Uh, and when we come in here and ask for help, we truly need it. We truly need it. Mm -hmm. So this pantry has been set up, like I said, since 1995 um, by Regina Tracy. She helped me learn to have a responsibility and, and the desire to help other veterans and their families. And we do it regularly, you know. Um, it's, it's rewarding in that factor that we know that there's another veteran that's not going to go to bed hungry or their family will go to hungry. So it, it's, it's rewarding in every way because uh, we get up every day and we do this on a regular basis. Uh, you know, and I got a beautiful team. I have about 10 volunteers that come and they serve and they're older than I am and they still get up and they come and they serve the veterans on, an, on a regular basis. It's, it's rewarding to see when we are able to help people who are hungry, period, mm -hmm. but especially our veterans. Yeah. You know, what a basic need, right? No one should go hungry. And, and, no. and, and veterans in particular who've sacrificed so much for us. Yes. Um, you know, my heart goes out to each and every one of them. And I am, I am honored to be able to, to meet you virtually. Sorry that we can't enjoy breakfast uh, together like we would have last week. But, you know, look, we have to roll with the punches right now, and you're used to that. Yes. So, you know, yes. we're going to do our, the best we can. We're going to try to get as many people to join us tomorrow at 12 o'clock. Um, and, you know, Duke, again, what a, a fabulous honor. Congratulations on the Transformation Award. Duke Searles uh, with Montrose VA Food Pantry which is also presented by um, w, uh, WMC Health, by the way. So, you know, if you love to do something, what's stopping you from doing it? Make the time, show your passion. That's what the Volunteer Spirits Awards are all about. And Duke, um, any parting words before we, before we let you go? I uh, would love to say that I'm very honored by this award. Uh, I am so honored that these people, anyone would think that I'm, what I'm doing is special, but it's what I do on a regular basis. This is my job. You know, uh, we uh, we love what we do. Uh, we wish we didn't have to feed any veteran or their family, but we do, and we do it with pride uh, every day. God bless you, Duke. Thank you so a much. Absolutely. And uh, so you've been listening to Westchester Talk Radio, produced by Shark Creative and made possible by Entergy, Indian Point Energy Center, White Plains Hospital, Lapolis Electric, High Tower Westchester, and Bark Sterling Realty. We'll be back with more interviews after this. Welcome, everybody. You're listening to Westchester Talk Radio, produced by Shark Creative and made possible by Entergy, Indian Point Energy Center, White Plains Hospital, La Polis Electric, High Tower Westchester, and Park Sterling Realty. So once again, we're here for the 2020 Volunteer Spirit Awards presented by Con Edison. And, you know, just because we can't all be in the same room doesn't mean we can't bring the community to you. So we're excited to share that in place of the traditional breakfast, the honorees will be recognized during a special live streaming event tomorrow, Tuesday, April 7th. Um, there's no advanced registration required just share. Um, let's all watch hashtag VSA together. Um, you can go to volunteernewyork.org forward slash awards and you can watch the live stream. You can also check it out on Facebook and on Twitter. Um, I just want to remind people that the Volunteer Spirit Awards, uh, we've recognized many different people. There's an education and literacy award that was given to Amy Tights with Friends of Nourishell Public Library. 
The Going Green Award goes to Gail Fisher with Sierra Club, Lower Hudson Group. The Quality of Life Award is Anna Lee with Gilda Club's Westchester. Social Advocacy Award goes to Hector Rodriguez with Rising Ground. The Transformation Award, Duke Searles with Montrose VA Food Pantry. And finally, we have the Youth Leadership Award, which goes to Abe Baker Butler, Students Against Nicotine. Welcome, Abe. How are you? We've Thank you, you very much. Thank you very much, Andrew. Thanks for having me. Yeah. I'm doing well. A, my honor, my pleasure to have you. Um, I understand you're a senior over at Blindbrook High School, um, and you've amassed a list of accomplishments outside of the classroom, and I, it would take people a lifetime to achieve these. Um, I understand you're the executive director and co-founder of Students Against Nicotine, um, and you also are the co-founder of the Westchester Student Coalition Against Gun Violence. You serve as a vice president of Westchester Youth Advisory Board. You've conducted original neuroscience research on Alzheimer's and sleep at NYU Lang uh, Langone Health. And in 2019, you were named the Branform, Branform Fellow and, and selected as the New York State Department of Education. Oh, my goodness. I mean, you we only a senior in high school. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, uh, I, and, and I understand you're going to Yale in the fall. Um, all things considered, hopefully that will, that will go off uh, properly. But, you know, first of all, I just want to say I, my heart goes out to, to, to you and, and to seniors like you who unfortunately due to everything going on, you, you may not be able to uh, take part of all the typical rites of passage um, that, that, you know, most seniors do, but, you know, I take one look at you and I see your resume and I know that you're finding silver linings wherever you can. Um, and congratulations on this wonderful award, Abe. I mean, you, you really have done so much for such a young person. How is it that you, that you do all this? I mean, what, tell us a little bit about, I mean, we'd love to hear about students against nicotine. Let's just get right into that and tell us how that, how that started and what your, what your role is there. Sure. Well, first of all, thank you very much, Andrew. Um, I really appreciate you doing this. I really appreciate the recognition. Um, but as you said, to jump right into Students Against Nicotine, we're a 501c3 nonprofit organization completely run by teens. And our goal is preventing uh, e-cigarette use through education and advocacy. And so why did we start up? So it all started in January 2018 when a friend and I um, noticed that our friends, our peers, were starting to vape um, very frequently, that was becoming very prevalent in our schools. The people were starting to fall behind in their classes, that they were starting to become addicted. Um, and we kind of saw this issue before the adults and before the policymakers, because these were our friends, these were our peers. Right. Um, and we said, hey, what can we do? Um, and we ended up going and um, advocating intensely with the Westchester County Board of Legislators um, for them to pass Tobacco 21, which raised the age of purchase of e-cigarettes to 21. Um, and that was a very positive experience. We felt like, uh, thank you. Uh, that, wow. that, was, uh, that was the experience that really turned me on to legislative advocacy on this issue um, because it showed me how much legislators were really willing to listen to youth on, on this. Um, and that, that experience just energized both of us when we decided, you know, we can scale this up. We can take this on the road, um, if you will. And so we decided to found a nonprofit. And since then, um, we've helped pass legislation in a variety of jurisdictions. We've led numerous workshops across the state and across the country. Um, and now we, um, you know, I oversee a board of directors of uh, multiple teams who are committed to doing the same. You know, it's amazing for, for such a young person and all the difference that you're already making. Um, just incredible. I, I, I can see why, and it's not me, by the way, that's giving you this award. Right, no, it's, know, yeah. it's Volunteer New York, and they uh, certainly are, are, you know, very proud of you and all of your accomplishments and, you know, just the, the difference that you're making in such a short period of time, you know, just hats off to you, Abe. And, and I know that there's, this is probably still just the tip of the iceberg for somebody like you. Um, Thank you. You've got a long way to go with a lot of things to accomplish. And, and uh, you know, it's just going to be a, um, a wonderful um, career, whatever it is that you end up doing. I just know we're going to sit here five years, 10 years, 20 years from now and look back at, at, at so many amazing things that you, you're certainly capable of. But my goodness, already you have accomplished a lot. I love your little quote here, which just says, 
you know, to find what fuels your passion and gives meaning to your life and the rest will follow. Um, well said. Thank you very much. You know, well done. Um, look, on behalf of, of Volunteer New York, I want to congratulate you. Um, we will, we'll see you tomorrow at 12 o'clock. Yes, I can't and, wait. Um, yeah, and I, and I look forward to uh, personally getting to know you a little bit better and following you along. Um, what a bright young mind. And uh, congrats to you, bud. Thank you so much, Andrew. Great to meet you. Okay. You're listening to Westchester Talk Radio, produced by Shark Creative and made possible by Entergy, Indian Point Energy Center, White Plains Hospital, La Polis Electric, High Tower Westchester, and Park Sterling Realty. We'll be back right after this. Hello, everybody. You're listening to Westchester Talk Radio, produced by Shark Creative and made possible by Entergy Indian Point Energy Center, White Plains Hospital, La Polis Electric, High Tower Westchester, and Park Sterling Realty. We're here today for Volunteer New York, the 2020 40th Annual Volunteer Spirits Award, which is presented by Con Edison, where everything matters. Uh, we can't be in person in the uh, in the room all together, but tomorrow you can watch live at 12 o'clock, hashtag VSA together, or visit volunteernewyork.org, where we'll be honoring many people who have done so many great things for the community that truly help um, our Westchester community and beyond. Volunteer New York does so many great things for people, helping them connect, serve, and grow. And today we have the privilege and the honor um, to be with the Gallen family, uh, both Tom and Allie, who are being recognized uh, as the for the Legacy Award, um, together with their son Jake. Welcome. Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Allie. Good morning. How are you? Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's so nice to have you guys. Um, I know that you're being presented by the Volunteer New York Board of Directors, uh, and you know you're here to be recognized for the incredible shared passion for giving back to our community. Stars for Cars and Volunteer New York, among countless of other local organizations. The Gallen family, you guys, are a staple in the Nurshell community and truly part of Volunteer New York uh, and their whole entire family. Tell us a little bit about um, the examples, I suppose, that you've helped set for Jake in this particular case. Um, what is it about you guys? Well, I mean, what, how is it that you, you do so much? What, what's the inspiration behind all of that? Thank you. I don't know if there's an inspiration, one inspiration. I just think it's something that our family does together and we find it uplifting and it's super fun. And I think volunteerism is something that everyone can do. And at Volunteer New York, we say that everyone can serve and I think that's true. But there have been people that have inspired us, certainly with um, Stars for Cars, um, an Elmsford woman named Teresa Arceo. Um, her son, Michael, died in Iraq, serving our nation. Um, and I think knowing this Gold Star family, um, uh, that's the inspiration behind almost everything we do with Stars for Cars. Mm -hmm. And I know your son, Jake, uh, is certainly behind a lot of it. Tell us a little bit about Jake and, and what, what he's doing with Stars for Cars and uh, how, it's, how it's helped out. Um, uh, you want to answer that? Sure. Um, well, he started it when he was eight, when he saw Mrs. Alciola on TV talking about how 1% guard the other 99 of us. And so he, he decided he needed to recognize the families that allow a loved one to go and serve and protect uh, all of us. And that is not something you learn. That is something that is a part of you, that kind of personality trait, as it were. Um, and he's always had that since he was even before he. Um, so what he's done is he's taken this uh, small message that he started out at his one school and devised a, a, a message to be said in uh, schools across the country. It's now uh, all 50 states, over a million kids hear it on. I saw that. Just to spread the message, just... Like Alice said, it doesn't take much to volunteer when it comes to helping and reaching out to military families. It's just one saying thank you, or two, how about a cup of coffee? Let's see what's going on. Or how's your day? Or 
his goal originally was to, since 1% guard 99, it was to take 1% of the burden off of them. Like, and he started in the winter, so it was like, shovel their driveway. Or, you know, rake their leaves, take a play date, have a cup of coffee. You don't have to do much to take a little burden off of someone to make them feel a little bit better for a little, for a moment in time at least. And if you take what, those moment in times, it all adds up. What a wonderful attitude. Um, you know, if, if everybody felt that way and everybody just did a little bit, how, how it goes such a long way. Um, clearly, you guys are a great example to Jake and to many others. And, um, you know, we, we, everybody appreciates you and, 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 and the examples you're setting forth. Congratulations, really, on the Legacy Award uh, on behalf of Volunteer New York. I know they're very proud of you. And um, sorry, once again, that we, we have to do this virtually. But, um, you know, it, it really is nice to get a chance to meet you and, uh, and honor you. And hopefully um, we'll get we'll be able to spread the word and, and more people can hear about the story and and hear about Jake and all these great things that you guys have been up to. Um, we appreciate it. Uh, I also just want to you know just want to take the time to let people know that um, obviously you know with COVID nineteen people are looking for ways to help and you could also help out with Volunteer New York by just going to to their website um, mm -hmm. and you know, th this. This particular um, event that takes place every year is, is the greatest fundraiser for Volunteer New York. And so we don't want to say that you can't do that because what you can do is go right to the website and donate there. So please um, do what you can to help out. Now more than ever, people, people need us. And um, we look forward to tomorrow's event at 12 o'clock virtually. Know, they, they, also, they also have a uh, virtual volunteer website set up where you can go and, and see what you can virtually to help others. That's right. Well, that's right. Volunteernewyork.org um, is where it all takes place. So once again, just want to remind you, you've been listening to Westchester Talk Radio, which is produced by Shark Creative and made possible by our friends at Entergy, Indian Point Energy Center, Hightower Westchester, White Plains Hospital, La Polis Electric, and Park Sterling Realty. The Gallon family, Tom and Allie, thank you so much for your time. And uh, we'll, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, Thanks.